Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. I'm going to spend most of my day down here today because we got about three inches of snow here in Asheville and it's cold and windy outside and uh Soup is already on the stove, so uh, my woman duties are done, and I'm going to spend some time down here, and I'm excited about that, and I am excited that you all have joined me here today. We are working on a 20 by 24 inch edge canvas. It is a gallery wrap, but it is not a deep canvas, but uh, I love these canvases, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. Um, I recently did um, a non-deep gallery wrap canvas and I put it in a deep frame so it was kind of shadow boxed and it looked pretty cool. A lot of people ask where I get my frames. Well, if it's a big piece of art, Rick makes them for me because they can be extremely expensive, but my um, my frames are usually purchased from Jerry's Artorama or Dick Blix. Um, they have a decent um, selection. Blix has some beautiful wood frames, but they're a little bit more pricey, but they're well worth it uh, to display your art in. Our colors today, our colors today are yummy. <laughs> our base coat is yummy. This right here, let me go ahead and show you the thickness of this because my base coat is very thin. I want a very, very thin layer of paint on my canvas before I pour my uh, ring cup. We're doing a ring cup pour today. That is Lucas Krill Studios and that is their steel blue. I have a good amount of these paints and they're nice. I just... I've been ignoring them for some reason, so I figured let's go ahead and give them a go because I've had uh, I've had good success with them. Our cup colors are pretty. They're very pretty. And you know, my home is very neutral. It's all done in taupes and grays and tans, and I like that, with the exception of my accent pillows and whatnot. But I sure love painting in color, and we've got a good amount of it today. Now, our cup colors were all mixed the same way. Our base coat is a mix of paint, Liquitex Pouring Medium, GAC 800, Floetrol, and water. I wanted it thin. All of these paints, I would like to be a little bit thicker. Let's look at these consistencies. They kind of just fold over each other when they run off your stir stick. All of my cups got a, got a tablespoon of Golden GAC 800 and then it got anywhere between a couple of tablespoons to an ounce of paint, pending the paints, the golden fluid. You do not need much but a couple of squirts. And then I stirred them all up and I slowly started to add my mix pour to them until I got them to the consistency I wanted. If they got too thick on me, I added a little bit more GAC 800 to them. Some of them got a little bit of water because two of these paints, this Windsor, Windsor Newton paint, is a very heavy body paint. At least it's heavy body for me because I use a lot of fluid paint. So some of these paints got water. Actually, just that one, the uh, Windsor Newton. So Mix Pour, you can purchase it by emailing Darlin Krista, who is the inventor of it, also a talented artist at Krista8974 at gmail.com. I will put the link in the description box for that. Right here, Yummy Color Deco Art, You Rock My World, Deco Art Metallics, 24 karat gold. Yummy goodness right here for good luck. Golden fluid or er, er, blah, blah. <laughs> golden fluid or er, golden fluid acrylics. I'm sorry guys and the fluorescent. Oh my god, let's start over again. <laughs> This is golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent 
pearl. My studio is a little cold. My heater hasn't quite heated up just yet, so I think my lips are a little bit frozen. <laughs> now, because this is a fluid paint, it got a little bit more of my mix pour in order to get it to the consistency that I'm looking for. Just a creamy fold on a fold on a fold as it rolls off my popsicle stick. Lovely color. Took a bit of water right here. That is Windsor Newton, and that is their permanent violet. Right here is oh, one of my favorite, favorite hues. It's a turquoise Payne's Gray. This is Charvin Indigo. I first saw Sweet Sarah Taylor from Sarah Taylor Modern Art use this. Fell in love with the color. Let's go ahead and see if I can show you a good shot of that. But it is just beautiful. Kind of a turquoisey Payne's Gray. It's a wonderful, wonderful hue, which I think will play well with these colors. This guy, this guy rocks my world. I throw him into almost every painting these days because he is fun. That's PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics, and that's the iridescent green yellow. I'm digging on these PBO paints, guys. I tell you that because I like them. I'm not affiliated with them as of yet, but I tell you about them because I like them. This is glorious right here. This is decadent. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I get excited. I know. That is PBO Pebio Studio Acrylics in their iridescent blue-green. And I added a few drops until I got to the hue I was looking for with the golden fluid acrylics in the turquoise. It doesn't take much, guys. This is strong pigmented paint. What else? Our last color is absolutely lovely right here. This is Golden Fluids, and that is their Philo Blue. So I am going to pour these paints into my cup, and I apologize, I don't have any clear plastic cups, but I'll show it to you when I'm done in the order of which you see them here. If you click on the description box, I will list these paints in the order of how I poured them into the cup, which I think would be helpful. What else? I think that's it, guys. We're going to put some tunes on. We're going to get busy. I'm happy you're here.
Got to know you, got to love. 